Man, I gotta shave my balls on my sweater. I got sweater balls, you know? Shit that happens to our clothing. Let's go. guys are firing double kicks heavy lows we in the clouds though I'm only halfway through. I didn't realize it was a five-minute song. Is this a double song? I feel like they definitely do that on some of these. But what was that? There was like a well, first of all, we got like this awesome O breakdown thing with the violin afterwards. I thought that was definitely sick. Eddie knows how to do those blast the O's and stuff. But damn, this this has got everything in it, man. We almost got like this like shoegazy kind of vibe. Then into this next level, heavy, chunky fucking violin shit. And then they throw a little, eh, a little thing in there. I, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Can we go back for a second? Clear. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. 
Wow. Lots of Chong. This might be my favorite song from them so far. Wow, they crushed it. They fucking crushed, crushed it. Oh, wait, there's more. I know they came through Toronto not too long ago, and I missed them. I was so upset. Let's go. Do we have anything new? Like, is there another new album coming out? Like, I know they've dropped a few songs, which have been really neat. I believe I have some of those reactions up for you guys. I'll leave them on the end cards for you. But this one was really good. I mean, I'm more about the heavy. I like the heavy chunks, the breakdowns, but I think they did a really good job. And I, and I do like some slower kind of shoegazing moments like they had in this one. I don't even know if that's even the right term for that. Uh, but it was just nice here and like Eddie can do everything. He's got those lows. He's got those wicked mid tones. Sometimes he can do those highs and then just bringing it back with just these violin soothing spots. Uh, I think it was called a thousand deep at a thousand cuts or something like that. He did like a live version with his dog like chilling in the background. Um, we reacted to that and doing his one take. I don't know if I actually put up the reaction to it, but just seeing him doing it raw like that, I thought was a lot of fun. Uh, really cool to see the rawness of it and adding his own stuff with the violin. It sounded really cool, to be honest. Uh, but this one, I think, is one of my favorite songs. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking about it. Is this one your favorite? Uh, is there an album coming up? I don't really see anything in this, but they do have like a U.S. tour going on in uh, 2024. So I hope they bring it back to Toronto. Uh, I know like uh, Metal Bird popped up here as well and Bogdan. They're both super huge fans of Eminence. And I think they were at that show. They were asking me, I think, if I was there and I was not. Um, but it's really cool to see these guys, and I've heard nothing but great things about this band. Uh, and just in terms of like how they handle themselves, how they talk to uh, and like all with their fans and stuff. Um, really cool. I liked it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. I can't wait to be checking out more from them. We got some other stuff popping up on the screen for you guys to be checking out. Lots of new bands we promote here, so if you can, go down that rabbit hole. See if there's anything that you like. We got some bangers always popping on here every day for you guys we do twitch streams we do a bunch of other stuff so hit that subscribe button if you're new here today if you made it this far let hit that like button for me and until next time see you guys on the next one